Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Word. Everybody could join me for our time together again this morning as we continue our journey together through the Daily Word and what it means for us and how we continue to apply Scripture to our lives and and I think just as importantly as we journey together. And I just think that's a great thing for us to continue to do. And so we do it, in one way, we do it like this, um, daily at 10 o'clock. And that's a really cool thing. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for always, as I've said every day, thanks for carving out time to be with me. Um, thanks for saying good morning or good afternoon or whenever it is that you uh, have the time to watch. Or even if you play catch up, that's okay as well. So today is daily word number 679, and we continue together. So just a reminder that tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, and we are going to have our meal beginning at 6 o'clock. Um, that meal is going to consist of salad made by Lori Nup that everyone prefers, as do I. Um, I'm going to make chicken noodle soup. We are going to have some fresh bread that I've been using on Wednesday nights that will still be warm. And we'll have some dessert. And we'll share in that meal together and then the worship our, of our time together. Um, the choir is going to sing. We're going to share in communion as well as the imposition of ashes. So I hope you'll join us for that as we begin our Lenten journey. Um, so thanks for thanks for being with me again today. So. Today, um, I've chosen for our scripture, um, because I've been thinking about Ash Wednesday, of course, planning for it. Um, there's a lot to do yet. I don't have any tables set up yet in the fellowship hall. Um, I have to take tables down and put tables up. and uh, So I've been thinking, but so I haven't done that yet, but I've been thinking a lot about just what it means for us in this entire worship time. And so I've chosen from Luke 22, verse 19. After taking the bread and giving thanks, Jesus broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so for me, as I think about the season of Lent, one of the things that, um, that I enjoy, that I think gives meaning to the season of Lent, is Ash Wednesday. For me, Ash Wednesday is that jumping off point, that starting point for us. Um, the words that we say are significant. Um, the actions that we take are significant. And the way that we share our lives together, beginning in this journey, is significant. And there's something, at least for me, um, I won't put it on anybody else, but at least for me, there's something to be said about sharing the bread in the cup. You know, um, in that significant moment in our lives, something to be said, um, when I take my thumb and dip it in the ashes and place that cross on your forehead, this reminder, you are from dust, and to dust you shall return. And it's a reminder for us that in all of this, um, this journey together, that it's it's our bodies, it's our physical nature, it's the way that we share our lives together that reminds us that we are God's creation, that we are God's people, and that we have this, in this gathering, especially tomorrow night, this strong sense and reminder of our humanity. And, you know, when we take communion, we're reminded of the body of Christ, the cup of the covenant, the forgiveness of sins, and that little bit of bread and that little bit of cup um, is a reminder that it goes deep inside of us and we're forgiven. And that's, a, that's an amazing gift. And then this, this gift of the cross of ashes on our forehead a reminder of our humanity, a reminder that, you know, we're from dust and to dust we shall return. But it's also, I think for me, um, just this reminder that on this night, tomorrow night, 
It's the Holy Spirit whispering something new into our souls, into our spirits, into our hearts. That maybe, just maybe, we can connect to God in this one moment, in this one way, in this powerful way, like we haven't before. And then, you know, the way that our tradition is at St. Paul's, we'll, we'll gather again, well, every Wednesday night, but then we'll gather again on Maundy Thursday. And again, we'll share the bread and the cup um, around the table, around a meal, a larger meal that we'll share again on Maundy Thursday. And this reminder, you know, that our gathering, all in one place, all in one space, is a gift to us. Last year, I had just had surgery on February 14th, and Ash Wednesday followed rather quickly. And I don't know if you all remember or not, but Ash Wednesday, um, I was here at my house, and you all were at church. And we we had the little bags of ashes and the little a bag of a washcloth, and, and we shared in this kind of way, and it was unique, and it was powerful, um, even though I wasn't there. And it's that whispering reminder of the Holy Spirit's presence with us. So Jesus took the bread and gave thanks, broke it to them and gave them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And you know that that whole remembering piece is an important part of what we do, what I think we do, what nourishes us and sustains us. And for Jesus and for the disciples, you know, um, it, we're just reminded that just maybe the whispering of the Holy Spirit has the capacity to change us. And that's what I hope begins for us tomorrow night um, on Ash Wednesday. Look, if you can't be there, I'm going to try to live stream it um, like I do on Sunday morning. I'm not sure how great the views will be, but we're, we're going to give that a shot. And then um, we'll, we'll share in all of these gifts together. So I would hope that for you and for me tomorrow that something might shift in us, that we might find the whispering of the Holy Spirit a unique thing in our lives. So thanks for joining me this morning for this daily word together. Thanks for sharing um, our continued lives together. Um, I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock and then of course tomorrow night beginning at 6 o'clock. So, know of God's love and the whispering of the Holy Spirit in your lives. Know of my love for you. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.